the only university students have been bussed away to uh, on campus because of a campus-wide power outage. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott talked to school leaders about when the problem will be solved, and she's live now at Diller. Jordan. Kurt, LBJ, Dillard University was like a ghost town today, and it may be that way until Thursday. But even with this power outage, university officials are hoping campus doesn't miss a beat. On Monday at Gentilly Gardens, an on-campus apartment at Dillard University, college students crowded into a living room, each using a personal hotspot to study after a power outage knocked out the university's Wi-Fi. I'm a senior and I'm just trying to pass and we got a Wi-Fi and I'm just like, I got a hotspot in it. Fortunately, my hotspot reached 75% and I don't know how I'm going to go for the next three days without doing my schoolwork. Dillard University President Dr. Rochelle Ford says around 2 a.m. on Sunday, three fuses blew in a high voltage area that powers the campus. We are doing a full assessment to understand what caused those fuses to blow and we are in the process of fixing it for long term sustainability and to resume operations at the university. Class was canceled Monday as students relocated to a hotel where they will attend class remotely Tuesday and Wednesday. And so we wanted to make sure that our students had cool places, hot or cold showers, whichever they prefer. And so we have a partnership with the Hilton Riverside. Which is meeting the needs of students. The president of Dillard Student Government Association, Marissa Pittman, says Ford and her administration have been great partners in addressing the group's concerns. For example, one of them was extending midterms and pushing them back to Monday, and that was able to happen. And then also assignments, making sure that students were not stressed while trying to relocate. So midterms have been pushed back until a week from today. And while students are staying at the Hilton Riverside Hotel, they will receive food delivery service courtesy of the university's food distributor. And crews are hoping to get power restored by Wednesday so people can return on Thursday. Kurt, LBJ. All right, we'll check back on Thursday, I guess. Thanks, Jordan.